Hey guys, RTT back here for that video, guys. Today, we're looking at what looks like a Launcher 10 clone. And in a way, it is, and in a way, it isn't. So, it has its own little, you know, quirks and differences that makes it more unique than the Launcher 10 clone. Than a Launcher 10 clone. But starting off right away, this is kind of like the iOS clone, where it could not go ahead and run in horizontal. It could only run in a vertical uh, set, which isn't too big of a deal when you kind of break it down once it's in phone mode it's actually really really a lot cooler so starting off right away uh just like always as you guys can see on the screen you have labor day in 39 days it has your events on the left hand corner right there has your actual date july or thursday july 29th it has your time seconds am camera photos chrome phone messages gmail maps search play store contacts uh whatever apple music search and all that kind of good stuff now the thing is you can customize this to a certain degree there is a paid version of this but i have the free version uh the really cool thing is you can set up these dividers so if i go ahead and click on that and i click on uh divider it actually let me see where the divider is go ahead and click on that click on the divider right there it actually lets me set up a divider now this divider i can put it wherever i want and this lets me be able to of course kind of like change up you know i'm gonna actually delete this divider because i want it below uh but i can kind of you know keep my apps in sections now you cannot go ahead and add any application to the home screen unless you get the paid version which kind of sucks but all your applications are under applications right there as you guys can see if you click on that you will always have your applications the applications that they give you on the home screen uh if i go ahead and click on this right here i'm going to go ahead and be your shortcuts your launcher apps your widgets your dividers cube uh, title groups app drawler and contacts uh which of course is not very limited i will say uh but again like i said this is one of those things where if you're picking this up you probably picking this up because you like launcher 10 and you want to give this a try i would not recommend getting the paid version of this but if we do put this in phone mode you will see that it actually is very customized for phone mode now the thing is about this is that this actually only runs in horizontal circumstance when in phone mode so just like it works only vertically when in tablet mode it actually only works horizontally in phone mode so starting off right away i'm going to change my angle for you guys to see so you guys can see this a little bit better uh but this is what it looks like so i go ahead and scroll down you can see it's like literally like scrolling down the screen like a tablet screen i have all my applications on the screen like normal and i go ahead and add whatever i want to add so i add a widget here i can add you know the clock the calendar photo slide all the kind of good stuff and you see there is some things i can add that is a paid 14 day left when you free trial you have to go ahead and pay for it which again like i said that's why another reason i don't really like this too too much but it is interesting i wanted to cover in this video today so if you go ahead and click on your applications uh just like normal it has all your applications uh listed and i don't know maybe i'm just crazy i just love i like how this looks in phone mode in tablet mode i'm not really a fan of it right tablet mode it's not really my cup of tea but in phone mode it actually is not that bad looking so go ahead and go to applications you can see that i can actually add actually i can add okay it was actually glitched when i first did this so i can add any application i want can i add it to the home screen because last time i did this it actually didn't show me any applications i thought that was a paid feature uh let's we'll see if that's actually oh no you can add any applications you want to the home screen okay that's actually really cool i thought that was a paid feature because when i first tried to do it it would not let me do it so that's actually really cool so i can add any application i want to the home screen that's a big fat w i will say for this for this launcher i really thought it was a paid feature and that's why it wouldn't let me do it but it looks like that is not the case you can go ahead and add any application you want uh it, it's a little glitchy i will definitely say this launcher on a surface duo is a little glitchy but once you kind of get it going you reset your phone a couple times you're probably going to have a lot better chance um let me see there you go you have a lot better chance and you know you're gonna have a lot more fun with it which honestly like i said before it's a really cool concept at the end of the day it's not you know the most i guess 
meant for the surface zero and a lot of these launchers i am reviewing aren't really meant for the surface zero but they're still really cool concepts and that's why i like them just because again there's something unique something different so again like i said as you guys can see i do like it in phone mode more than anything but in tablet mode uh when it is vertically it's still cool it's just i recommend i mean i don't say i recommend but if you are looking for a launcher like this, I'd probably still go ahead and go with Launcher 10. Um, but at the same time, I could see why someone might go, Oh, I, you know, I, I like this better because in phone mode, it actually does look really cool. But it's just having to walk around holding your phone like this now becomes the whole rumor of is your phone a gigantic tablet? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. But holding my phone like this is always more comfortable for me, I feel like, than holding it straight up and down vertically. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.